Why is the House of the Dragon finale so chilling? Spoilers for the episode, so like and come back if you've not seen it. Near the episode's close, Aemon recklessly begins a dragon fight with his nephew Lucerys. But when both lose control of the beasts, Vagar violently ends Lucerys and Arax, and Aemon is left to stare in realization of what he's done. But the immediate question for me there was how would Rhaenyra, the rightful queen and Lucerys' mother, react to that? Because that is what the entire episode, the entire season really, has been about. Rhaenyra has been betrayed by friends and allies, and now with her father gone and her throne challenged, we, along with her advisors, sit in anticipation of her next move. But brilliantly, after this most traumatic betrayal from House Hightower taking her son, the show chooses to withhold that answer as long as it can. The next scene comes without dialogue, and when Damon tells her the news, he turns her away from the camera. So desperate to see what happens, we lean in and analyze every stumble, every shake, how her whole body recoils in this grief. But then, we see her entire demeanor change. And at that last moment when she does finally turn, gone is the grief, the sadness, the hesitation. And in its place sits a complete and determined rage. And from there, when the screen cuts to black, we're left only to imagine what horrors may now come. I've been preaching this for a while, but see that is the power of less is more in visual storytelling.